Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to the 19th of September. Look how green everything has turned in 24 hours. Holy moly, look at that blue back there if you can make that out. Blue up there if you can make it out. Despite the look, everything on Facebook and around here is all about the flooding. Longview got water, even the hospital, the first floor, had like a foot or better of water inside of it. There was standing water everywhere out here last night. And uh, today it's just been off and on, little rain bursts here and there. What do you think about that, Sashi? Let's take the Beamer for a ride today. What y'all think of that? This is Beamer weather. Sashi goes, doesn't sound like a Harley, so I don't care. <laughs> All right, let's go for a rip. What you think, Sashi? <laughs> Look at all the dog pile she's got going around her. <laughs> I noticed, I think it was, wasn't it like 99 degrees the last time I rode this thing? I was too hot. Came home. It seems like I had some project to do that night as well. And, um, anyway, didn't put gas in it. It's like two bars on there. We'll be alright. We might have to stop for gas on the on the route. It's here just a little bit. Good lord, this thing's got a soft clutch. I mean, really soft. Sparky, what are you doing out here, though? So essentially, we have two days until fall. For some reason, I had the 24th stuck in my head as the first day of fall. No, nope. Tuesday. Kept watching the weather and I said, if I'm gonna do it, this is when I'm gonna do it. Sunset here in Toledo is at uh, 7.12, so it'll be, in about 45 minutes, it'll it'll be uh, pretty dark looking out here. Look at the moss already starting on the road. How does that happen? It's like all these things are just laying dormant in there and all of a sudden the rain comes and whoo, you go, hello, here we are. Where have you been, rain? Some big old cows out there, isn't it? Holy moly. I love seeing the little patches of blue and the, the brightness looking toward the, towards the west. Somewhere in there is the sun. Look how green them fields are. Holy moly. That one's probably been uh, been maintained a bit. Still hard and heavy at that bridge, aren't they? That's crazy. For that thing to be gloved up like that, I'm suspicious that thing probably had some lead in the paint. Who knows the last time they painted that thing. Keeps coming down here doing the brodies, doing the donuts and so, yeah, she's definitely up. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, man. This thing was really getting scary low. There's no way you can make it out, but that cedar log is completely out of the water. Well, mostly. You can see that big old sandbar over there. This is definitely not high. You guys know it goes up over that bank over there. But, despite all that rain, she looks uh, surprisingly, uh, surprisingly good. But it is higher than what it's been. You look, <laughs> going across a bridge or something, look down there and you're going, Whoa, she's low. Low as she goes. Man, what a crazy operation. It's starting to rain on me here too. Oh, didn't mean to scare the little ones. 
I got them all perked up. What is this thing coming at us? That's a lot of cows. There's some additional erosion on that cliff over there, didn't it? <laughs> oh, log, man. She just keeps hanging in there. Yeah, you can still see it's low enough. You can see the the rock bed. You can see it, the water rippling over it. If you can make that out that far away. Look how green that is down there. Eek. Ooh, yeah. That's because it's stagnant. Nothing's moving. That probably drug a bunch of junk down, wouldn't you think? Oh, yeah. I can't stand that thing being up. But it helps when it's raining. There we are. That's more like riding a motorcycle. Let the wind blow through. Just thinking, it's amazing I can see that mountain range running across there. When you, a few days ago, you wouldn't even be able to see halfway across that field because of all the smoke. Just, oh, look at that. That's the ones you go along and you scrape them off as you go by. They all take off in a row as you're going along. Those are all starlings. Tons of starlings. Goodness sakes alive. Looks like we got ourselves a convoy. Well, they, they wouldn't make very much of one. It's kind of light out here on a Saturday night. I'm going to bust down the freeway here for a little bit. Not very long. We're gonna we're gonna head to Seattle just for a little bit. <laughs> Alrighty. Freeway. Whoa! Look at all the them bugs that were hitting the top of my uh, top of my shield where it was cracked open. But you can't see that. Well, there's a lot of them. <laughs> Lord, I can barely see out of it. Look at them skies. It's just nice to see skies, not just that yellowishy brown smoke. Hmm. Oh, they're starting the uh, construction of the putting the blankets over it. See, there's that big sandbar right there. That thing will disappear in the winter. Maybe we'll go to Beasley's. Oh, this is something we gotta check too. Something we gotta check before we go any further. I know this is coming to an end, but I seen something when I was exploring on Apple Maps. Things uh, fairly near to me. This is one of them. That place has got a huge kayak rental thing going on there. I don't think that's probably a... Oh yeah, look at that. Doing all kinds of work underneath that one. They're going to set that one up as well. Ooh, look at them colors. He hauls and sheeps. One he haul and a bunch of sheep. Look at this. They are open. They just took all that crazy awning thing. They just took it off. Ah, dang. Yippity yahoo. That's pretty fancy. <clears throat> Time for the little woman and I to come in and hit the old country house restaurant. 
Good Lord, look at their prices for gas. Man, those, fr those freeway side road stops will get you. Well, it still says it's closed. This is something I wanted to uh, bring you up and see. I was thinking there might be a slight chance that uh, they got that bridge open. But I don't, rem I don't remember where they stop you up here. I think it's fairly early because there's no place to turn around. But let's just head for the bridge and see what happens. I know it's closed. The sign just said it is. Oh, look at that. We might even get some sunshine. These people in these houses are probably going, look at that guy on the bike. He thinks that bridge is still open. Hope he sees the sign soon. <laughs> There is a road that turns off here. I'm just gonna go up here and see what it looks like. What do y'all think of that? I don't think I'm gonna get any closer because there's workers right there. They had chased me out with a double barrel. But I can see the bridge and she's looking good. Heck yeah. So probably this time next week. Whew. That's a long ways up. And then you got the trees right on the edge. Woo you ever see those things where the hill erodes away? I think I've shown you a couple. And literally the trees are hanging on by a few roots. And I'm thinking, doesn't anybody come through and look at that and go, we should probably take that tree before it goes wham and hits the highway and take somebody out. That's just my way of thinking. I may be wrong. It's been a long time since I've been on this road. I keep thinking I got a whole lot of gears left. It just everything runs at a higher RPM on this thing. You got 9,000 red line instead of 55. Well, I don't actually have 55 anymore. Shh. Don't tell nobody. Trees are getting taller. You can't see nothing down there no more. Here's a nice close-up of that sandbar down there. Kind of a close-up. Mirrors and everything else are probably in the way. There we are. got to go slow past the I don't know if you call that a junkyard that's more of a museum to me look at that old camper that's cool actually it's a newer one that somebody dolled up to look old I got a smoking deal even though the hero nines out you don't need it anymore of course I ordered the thing the day before the 9 is released, the GoPro Hero 9 Black. So I got the the media, uh, the display mod for the media mod that goes with the Hero 8. To help on those times we do selfie vlogs with it. Because sometimes they use it to do goodbye vlogs with a varying success and quality. And things need a, a decent amount of light. You can kick the ISO up, but then it's kind of defeating. It just gets worse then. But anyway, so I'll have a little screen I can stick on there in the future. But I'll be getting the Hero 9 here for it's too long. Let me get some gas in this thing. If I don't pass out from smelling chimneys over there, that smells so good. You have no idea. This goofy thing doesn't even realize I put gas in it yet. Says I got 48 mile range in one bar. 2260. 42.54 miles to the gallon. That's what I got out of it that time. She'll wake up here in a second and tell me what my range is. 
350 mile range is what I have 351 it always goes up a little bit I bet you it'll, it'll even go higher we'll just leave it there for a second good lord dog All right, somebody's gonna go out to the drift track look how beautiful it is with this sunset look at that holy moly It smells like Pacific Northwest wet, which is, can be very pleasing. Kind of has a uh, tropical smell to it. it smells uh, musty. <laughs> smells green and musty. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for uh, coming for a rip on the old GSA. Try to get up there before the sun goes down. Say a quick little goot by with a little woman. The old Swiss Army knife of motorcycles, that's for sure. Does everything perfectly. Almost too perfectly. You spend a lot of time on them, you get really bored really fast. You need to be out adventuring somewhere on them or you really get bored. There's not a lot of soul to them. But uh, that's not that's not always bad for a tool. The tools in your tool chest have no soul to them, but they just work and they work really, really well. Everything you need is all in one package. All right, we'll talk to you up in the house here. Well, hello there, YouTube. Talking about waiting to the last minute. You can't do it this dark when you're using a GoPro. Yeah. Just use what I started with. Makes it easier on the upload. Yeah, keep the flow, keeps yeah. things organized easier. But um, that was a fun ride. Very fall feeling ride. Two days from it now. That go. I know, it comes fast, don't it? Every but, year. Yeah. But there was uh, way more fall colors today than what there's been. Oh, good. It was nice. That was a lot of fun, actually. Getting the old Beamer out and going exploring. That's what they're good for. It was a for. nice day for it. Yeah. No, I didn't even didn't, didn't hardly get it dirty at all. That's good. The roads were mostly. I didn't do a whole lot of off-road stuff. And just gravel parking lots, basically. Gotcha. But that was fun. A lot of fun filled the old beast up with gas I didn't do that last time I rode it and this time of year you fill them up before you park them because you don't know when you're gonna ride again that's true and uh, let them sit with that a full tank is the best thing for them mm -hmm. but uh beautiful it's, I don't know if you can see any of that it's party you can see the last bit of the sunset and the trees back there I have no idea what you just seen Could hope have been you nothing. saw it <laughs> see, it's something. pretty Anyway, there's something in a crock pot that's smelling some kind of good, and it's just chimneys when I was getting gas, and now what the little woman's got going, it's been going all day. Now it's like filling the house, and it smells so good. Good. We're going to bounce. <laughs> all righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up, and you guys have an amazing Sunday or Monday. Heck yeah. Thanks for coming along for the ride today. Yes. Didn't uh, have nothing but a few sprinkles here and there. That's a golden ride. Yeah, worked out good. Heck yeah. All right. See you guys tomorrow. See you in the morning. <laughs> Thanks now. Bye-bye.